Bare Bones Broadcasting, we're back. I'm radio broadcaster, Bare Bones version of that. This is the Skeleton Nation. Now, on the preceding broadcast, I was complaining about the foolishness of the man that answered the phone at Sam Adams' office in Portland, Oregon. He used the word help, and he doesn't even understand what the term means, and he doesn't have the disposition for it at all. And he was using it in an arrogant way, and he didn't mean help at all. He went, can I get rid of you, is what he wanted to do. How can I get you off my plate here, punk? i got to do my job, and you're a punk. Well, how do I get rid of you, punk? That's what he was saying, and he used the word help to do it. When his disposition made that very clear, that was his mindset. Well, I want you to know how flattered I am by that. It proves what I'm saying, and and then I, I call that a reward. In the United States, at least you get to call the mayor's office Rest of the planet, you don't even get to. So again, he helped me share a wonderful asset, an aspect of the United States that I get to call there at all and remind him that he's got a lot yet to do. Most places, you cannot remind the mayor's office of anything. They remind you how dumb they are with every breath they take. The rest of the place, like in Europe or, you know, Eurasia or any place that have a mayor, I, I wouldn't want to live there. Would you? I wouldn't. Or well, anybody has that position. Tribal. Would you like to get to the chief and tribal? I bet it's tough. Real tough. Yeah. So I consider the fact that I even call there priceless. Thank you very much, sir. I like my United States citizenship a lot. And you helped me enjoy that. Thank you. I, I sincerely and truly mean exactly what I said, and I compare it to things like that. And there's a long way to go here. It, need another mayor, and the whole, it takes a lot of elections to get a mayor. You can't just do it calling a bunch of idiots to the scene and say, which one of you will be the mayor? Because I'll be mayor. Oh, I want to be mayor. I'll be mayor. I'll, I'll be mayor. I'm going to be mayor. I want to be mayor. And then, you know, as soon as you feel that, that's what comes. So it takes a lot of elections till you get the mayor. And I don't know what that voice sounds like at all. So I couldn't give you my version of it, because I've never seen or heard one. And I just have my own conception. Would you like to hear my conception of the voice of the guy? I don't want the job. No, no, you ain't give. Oh, right, I know, I understand. No, I'm not. Blam! The guy would hang up on you a lot of times. You'd have to elect him and elect him and elect him, and finally, reluctantly, he or she would come and mayor for you. But I'll tell you, you'd have to ask them a lot of times before they would. The right one for the job. You'd have to beg them into the position. They're not going to come volunteering. I can tell you that. That'd be like volunteering in the military. Do you do that? That man is not that dumb. You're going to have to really, really call and call. And you'll know who it is and knock on their door a lot of times and have them say no many times. And don't take the first no for an answer when the right mayor comes. Remember that. Keep that well in mind. When the right mayor comes, don't take the first no for an answer. Keep begging till the right mayor comes and gives you a hand as mayor. It takes many elections. Keep that well in mind. You know, what's going on now, of course, is quite the opposite. As when you call Mayor Sam's Adams' office in Portland, you find that out vividly. 